Hi, my name is Derek and I'm part of the K-12 content design and development team here at Blackboard. Today, we're taking a closer look at bulletin boards and how they can enhance your classroom. Bulletin boards are a great tool for teachers or faculty who want to post general class information for their students. To keep things interesting, use a variety of different types of media like videos, text, audio, and more. Teachers and faculty access bulletin boards from the class page under Faculty. You can also find bulletin boards under Extracurricular, Content, and then Group Pages. Bulletin boards are pretty flexible to use as they support all kinds of different content types. Here are the ones you can add to a layout. Text. This is a basic text field. It works well as a welcome message to the class or for notes but it's flexible in how you can use it. Audio. This holds audio files for students which can be played from the browser or enabled to be downloaded. A small counter keeps track of how many people have selected it. Grading rubric. You can add rubrics here either from a local file or Google Drive. Links. Add URLs for students to check out. Organize these into subcategories to help keep this widget organized and clean. News. Add customizable news items with an option to send a notification when posted. This is a great tool for also keeping parents and students up to date with what's going on in your class. RSS Reader. Created from a specific external RSS source. It's a great option for bringing in relevant news stories or blog posts regarding the topic you teach. Videos. This lets you add videos from your computer. Keep in mind that this is only for local video files on your computer. Use the Links widget to add internet videos. Announcements. Similar to the text field, you can use this to notify students and then expire it when no longer needed. This timestamp appears to help students keep track of the newest ones. Photos. Add photo albums that students can look through. Downloads. Attach files that display as a selectable link. Please note that these files can be saved to the computer of the person who accesses it. Events. This shows a list of upcoming events students should be aware of. Syllabus. Add a syllabus for students to access and view. Expectations. Add your classroom expectations for students to access and view. You may have also seen this section here. Elements give you the option to stylize your layout for a better ease of use and readability. While not as extensive as the content options, you can add a horizontal line and spacer. Use these to break up sections and distinguish widgets from one another. Each widget is different in terms of the type of information it can hold. When you're in edit mode, look for this symbol to customize the content that displays here. If you're working with widgets that already have been placed, you can edit or delete them as needed. From here, widgets can also be expired or scheduled to publish at a future date. Bulletin boards are flexible enough to enable schools to import content from year to year rather than create new ones every single time. Select Import Material to get started, but keep in mind that you can only reuse content from classes you taught in previous years. When you're happy with your updates, select Publish Layout Changes to add them while remaining on the page. Or you can also select Publish Layout and Go To Page to save your changes, but instead of staying on this edit page, you'll go directly to the bulletin board page. Finally, select Cancel to undo everything you've done since your last save. Here's what a fully populated bulletin board looks like. When your changes are live, your students can use and read the provided materials. For more information on bulletin boards, head on over to our online help. If you'd like to know more about topics and how they differ, click here to view our feature video. And before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest video content. As always, thanks for watching.